Hello and welcome. This is going to be your reading for May 10th through the 31st, 2021. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back subscribers. We are officially in eclipse season. So the eclipse doorway opens around the 11th and then we have the first eclipse on the 26th at the super full moon in Sagittarius. Uh, we also have Mercury moving retrograde soon, a couple other planets. There's just a lot going on. So hold on to your chakras. The uh, cosmic energy is really heating up and it, it honestly is here to support you in letting go of what you no longer need. So eclipses are very much about that. They are powerful catalysts to bring change, um, growth, expansion in our lives. So do your work daily. Anything you're resisting or not wanting to let go of, um, it can make it more difficult. So really try to be aware and flowing with uh, things that are coming up and how you're feeling, okay? If you're in the mood to declutter and let go of stuff, do it ahead of time. Otherwise, the eclipses will kind of come in and force, force your hand on things that um, you're maybe fighting a little bit. So I'm just sending so much love to you guys for a, a, an easy uh, eclipse season. For those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy, healing, and therapy. It does not matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point, um, and this is my full-time work for over three years now. So the link below to my website, all the information is there for you on the distance energy, healing, and therapy. It is such a powerful time for energy clearing and balancing because of what's going on cosmically. So um, like I said, all the information is there. You can read about the benefits. Definitely read the testimonials page. I offer a 15% discount for your very first energy session or as a first-time energy client with me. So you could take advantage of that. I hope that is helpful for you. And sorry for the long intro, but there's just a lot going on and I felt that I needed to update you guys. So I think that's it for Shop Talk. We will get straight into the readings. Hello Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is for May 10th through the 31st, 2021. I have already fully shuffled. And at the end of the reading, I will be pulling a single card for you in regards to your theme for the eclipse season. So hopefully that will be helpful for you. Wow, okay, Aries. Usually I don't put them all out like that, but that's what was happening. Okay, wow, we've got three, four major arcana cards. The very first card that came out for your reading is the Emperor card. This is you. This is the Aries card. So I love seeing that. This really tells me that you are in your place of power. You are um, connected with yourself. You know what you want. You've been working hard towards your goals and your visions. And I feel like they are finally manifesting or beginning to come together for you. And really, it's kudos to you because you've been doing the work, and that is not always easy, okay? So I had the Emperor come out also with the Nine of Cups, which is the Wishes Fulfilled card, and this King of Swords um, energy. Nine of Cups, like I said, Wishes Fulfilled, so things are lining up. Your manifestations are, are coming coming into fruition, and it's also a card of emotional fulfillment and contentment. So I feel like at a deeper level within yourself, like you're just happy and content. And then this King of Swords energy, I feel like this is somebody that you are definitely dealing with. So most likely a romantic relationship, but if that's not resonating with you, this could be a boss figure, a friend, a family member. But I feel like the their presence is quite strong in your life, okay? This King of Swords. And um, I feel like they're quite fond of you, actually. Like, they're very clear that they want to be with you. For those of you that it's resonating that this is romantic. So it could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And the next card out here I've got is the Page of Swords. So I feel like this King of Swords really has something that they want to communicate to you. Um, they have kind of a big message, I feel. Something that has been on their mind for a little while. So you may learn something that you didn't know about this King of Swords, about this person. Um, and the next two cards out, oh, actually, one, two, three, four, four major arcana. No, yeah, 
just like I said. Um, the next two cards out, we've got the Justice card and the High Priestess. So this is a really powerful combo because the Justice card brings um, things like legalized in a way, like a contract, a marriage license, um, some sort of an agreement. And the High Priestess brings in the energy of that higher knowing, that intuition, that inner guidance. So I don't know, Aries, I just feel like you're really trusting yourself through the process of things. And I feel with this justice card, maybe marriage is a conversation that is around you that I feel if that's the case, it was very unexpected. So just kind of go with it. And the justice card also brings through healthy boundaries within a relationship and a relationship being 50 50. It kind of, um, it clears up any confusion and really brings truth and honesty to a connection. And that paired with the wisdom of the heart and the higher knowing, that is like such a powerful connection there. So you could be dealing with a Libra. Um, I mentioned other air energy. So Gemini or Aquarius there. And then this is so beautiful. The final row of cards down here. Look at this. We've got nine of pentacles, six of cups, and the magician. The Magician, another card of wishes fulfilled and manifesting. And then to match the Nine of Cups, you've got the Nine of Pentacles. This to me is like two solid whole individuals who have done their work, done their, um, their own personal growth and development, and now are coming together into this beautiful union and partnership. It's a soulmate connection. I do feel there's a deep emotional bond here. And I also feel that the connection is really lighthearted and playful as well as very deep and passionate. So such an absolutely powerful match. I feel this is a power couple, Aries. So if you're involved in a power couple or you are growing into that, um, keep going because there has been, I'm being shown that prior to this relationship, there has been a lot of bumps in the road and quite a rocky journey getting to this type of love. And you deserve it. And with, with the Magician card, it's like you two have all the tools necessary to conquer anything together. And I think you both bring different things to the relationship. I also love how it's the number one. So brand new beginning. And with the Infinity sign here, Divinely Guided beautiful Aries. I just, I feel so strongly that this bond will continue to grow and deepen and possibly lead to marriage. I feel that that's maybe something both of you maybe thought you didn't want. Okay. That's not going to resonate with all of you, but some of you were just like, didn't care about the conversation of marriage. It was more like finding a life partner. And now that you found the life partner, you're actually feeling like, well, maybe I would want to get married. And I think that's a little surprising to you or both of you, which I think is really beautiful. Okay. I've also got water energy out here. So um, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio energy. I mentioned Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Those are the main, main ones that I'm feeling. And possibly another Aries with that Emperor card, but I really felt that was speaking to you and your energy. All right, so your last message is balance, Aries. I think you're doing a wonderful job with balancing everything, and this is just one more message of how important that really is for you. Balance with friends, balance with alone time, balance with work, your spiritual time, all of the different pieces of your life to really keep things, you know, to keep you feeling in this strong, powerful, independent place, even though you are partnered. Beautiful. Let me get a spirit animal message for you. All right, Aries, your spirit animal message is eagle, mastery. You are on a spiritual journey beyond the sky. Let go of the past and soar. You are guided by the winds of spirit. Your wisdom inspires the world. This is so beautiful, Aries, because I do feel like you've really stepped into your power. And the more you do that, 
the more you just live by example, which really does help to lift those around you. So it has the ripple effect. I love that. Okay, now let me pull your card for your theme of the eclipses. Wow, okay, Aries, you've got Ace of Pentacles. I feel the theme of these eclip this eclipse season coming up um, for you is really going to be about a brand new chapter and beginning in your life. So the eclipses are really going to help eliminate and remove anything in the way of that. So that can look like, you know, a change in friends or relationships, something um, can change with your work your living situation. So anything that is not in alignment with this beautiful brand new beginning and chapter that you're starting in your life is going to fall away. So the more you can be aware of that, the easier this transition will be. Okay. So if, if the eclipses are really bringing a change in your living situation, but you're gripping on to the place that you're living and you're fearful that you won't find somewhere and you don't want to make a change, like that's when it can be so much more difficult than it needs to be. So really be aware of letting go of control, allowing the eclipses to show you what needs to move. And, you know, things can change quickly in eclipse season. So sometimes things are going to be quite abrupt and fast. And again, it's just letting go of control and letting that shift happen. So hopefully that is helpful for you. Um, and I hope the rest of the reading resonates. If not, no worries. You can watch your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus, your really any placement of Aries. Thank you for the comments below the video. I do love reading your comments. And if you missed the intro, I am a master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live or how far apart we are. I have clients spread all around the world at this point. Um, the link below to my website has all the information for you on the distance energy healing and therapy. You can read about the benefits, definitely read the testimonials. And you'll see I offer a 15% discount for first-time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. Um, I hope that is helpful for you. It is such a good time to be having any sort of energy work done just because it will help to move you forward more quickly and easily through the changes that are coming for you. So it'll help clear what you no longer need, bring you into balance, help you to just have the clarity that you're desiring and to just really um, be your highest and best self. So again, the link below, all the info is there for you. That's it, Aries. I'm wishing you a wonderful rest of May and I will see you back here for the first half of June readings. Take care.